What is false positive rate? False positive rate is the probability that a positive test result will be given when the true value is negative. Let's look at two examples. The first example is a medical test that checks for the presence or absence of a disease. The second example is a classification-based machine learning algorithm looking for the presence or the absence of a dog. Either way, there's two possible real-life truths. Either the thing being tested for is true or it isn't. The person is sick or they aren't. The image is a dog or it isn't. Now, there's also two possible test outcomes. A positive test result, where the test predicts the person is sick or the image is a dog, and a negative test result, where the test predicts that a person is not sick or the image is not a dog. Now, in a perfect world, your test would always be accurate, but in the real world, the test could be getting it wrong some of the time, and that's where false positives and false negatives come in. Let's draw what's known as a confusion matrix to see the possible outcomes. The first is true positive. The truth is positive, and the test predicts a positive. The person is sick, and the test accurately reports this. Second, we have true negative. The truth is negative, and the test predicts a negative. The person's not sick, and the test accurately reports this. So those are the two trues. Now, third, we have false negative. The truth is positive, but the test predicts a negative. The person is sick, but the test inaccurately reports that they are not sick. So that's a false negative. It's also known as type 2 error in statistics. And finally, the fourth possibility is a false positive. The truth is negative, but the test predicts a positive. In other words, the person's not sick, but the test inaccurately says that they are. This is called a type 1 error in statistics. Calculating the false positive rate is relatively simple. It's the ratio of false positives over the sum of false positives and true negatives. We're basically dividing the number of false positives by the total number of negative results. What you end up with is the probability that a false alarm will be raised, that a positive result will be given when the true value is negative. To learn more about using experimentation techniques to build better software, visit split.io slash resources and choose ebooks. Then, download the Understanding Experimentation Platforms book.